Okay, this is Andrew Wigford here. Um, I am at the Nazarbayev Intellectual School of Astana with David McCutcheon, who teaches here. Hello, David. Hello. Hello. Hi. Um, what are you teaching here, David? Um, predominantly English at the moment. Uh, I also teach a pre IB extended essay course. Okay. How long have you been here? Um, since November. Okay. Um, about four or five months. Okay. And the students here are between the ages of 11 and 18, yes? How many, how many students do they have in the school? Uh, just shy of 200. What do they like to work with? Uh, generally very, very motivated. Uh, the selection procedures in order to be accepted into the school are quite strenuous. Uh, and so we tend to find the students are very, very uh, easy to work with. In, in that sense, but obviously that brings its own challenges. You have to make sure that the materials that you're providing are really, really demanding as well. So. And their level of English? Um, I, surprisingly high. Is it? Uh, surprisingly, in as much as most, for most students, English is actually their third language after Kazakh and Russian. Yeah. So. Yeah. so what's it like working here? Um, it's uh, quite uh, an intense, driven, focused atmosphere. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, the school's expectations are high, but the level of support is uh, very high as well. Yeah. Uh, the, the, in, the administration of the school is extremely competent, and they have been just the bedrock for everything that we've tried to do. We've given us an enormous amount of support, guidance, help in terms of fitting in, learning about teaching in a foreign country and um, so on. Okay. And what about living here in Kazakhstan? I very highly recommend it. Yeah. Uh, it has, um, well the school first of all is situated in the centre of the capital city. It has uh, all of the major sites of the city close by. You're not short of any uh, of the amenities that you would expect. Right. Um, it's a little bit slightly less crazy than other um, yeah. uh, cities. It's got more of a small town feel at times. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You'll often go out and run into continuously the same people. So right. that's, that's a nice aspect of living. Here. And you can afford to live quite well here, do you think? Um, so living costs are split. Elements of living costs I think you would find to be higher than in the West, other elements lower. Food, for instance, is more or less on the same level. Yeah. Uh, transport is extremely cheap. Right. You can travel across the city for a few dollars. Mm. Um, but other things such as um, uh, household goods and so on, you'll find to be, and electronics are mm. uh, more expensive than they would be most. Overall, I think it balances it. Are you able to save money here on your salary? For sure. Yeah. What about uh, the things that maybe are not so good here? Uh, disadvantages to being here. Can you? Can you? Do you have any? Um, I think one of the main things is that people will often pick out is uh, the cold um, hmm. in the winter. Um, in fact, it's the extreme of climate. If you swing in Celsius from minus forty to forty and uh, back again, so you're getting used to an eighty degree swing. And um, it's, it takes a little bit of getting used to, yeah. um, but if you're prepared, if you have really warm clothes, yeah. you'll get back. Right. Okay, thanks very much, David. Thanks a lot.